All right, today we're talking about audiobooks versus print. Uh, I'm Cody, and I am on the audiobook side of things. And I'm Brent. I'm representing books. Look at all this print we got here. There is an, Let's do it. There is an argument uh, for they're the ones called books. Look so. at how aesthetic <laughs> this is. Look at this. Yeah, I mean, I guess you should probably start since it's more of a, an ancient craft, the book. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm not even going to go with history, but obviously history is on our side. Um, okay, no, for real though, I don't like dislike audiobooks. I listen to audiobooks pretty frequently, um, but they, I love when I get a chance to sit down and like actually read something physically. I feel like it like sinks in a little bit deeper when I love them and it's like something I can keep. Um, I love, love, love that. Uh, sometimes I have to rewind in audiobooks. You know, I don't know. Like, do you ever get, uh, okay. Yeah, Classic audiobook some... use case. You do audiobooks while you do the dishes? Yeah. Okay, what if it's loud? Well, I use my uh, headphones. But I think, you know, <laughs> I think you're right. I think it's it, it's kind of like a time and place um thing. I, and also I was wrong about the history. In theory, audiobooks are actually older because it's the no, oral tradition yes. oral tradition of storytelling. You just blew my mind. Yeah, that's totally true. <laughs> um, so uh, I guess I guess why I like audiobooks is because I can um, you know I can focus on it and just hang out or I can do other things at the same time, you know, like tasks around the house, like you said, doing the dishes uh, or um, just driving places to and from work, etc. Um, and I really think it just comes down to like how much attention you can give it. That's the value of the audiobook. Uh, cause obviously if you're doing something, if you're distracted or if you're in a story, you're not that into, and you can only listen five minutes at a time, like you're never going to be able to sink in. You could sink in a lot faster in print. Um, cause it requires you to. Yeah, for sure. All right. Well, what do you, how do you feel about like literature? You know, like there's one thing that's like, Hey, this is a story. I'm just trying to entertain myself. But when you're listening to something that you're like, Hey, I really feel like this is like an important book, quote unquote. Do you feel like it hits the same on audiobook versus print? Again, I think it depends. I mean, there's one great example I can think of, which is uh, I I did um, I tried to do a hundred years of solitude on uh, audiobook, and the way Marquez writes is just so uh, fluid and and requires you to pay attention to each word and each sentence so much that like you really just don't have a lot of. Um, there's not a lot of margin for, <laughs> for attention error. Um, so that one was impossible. It was constant rewinding. Uh, so some books, it just doesn't work for it. But in general, um, I just I just like it. Just yeah. like being able to do other things at the same time. I think it works for lots of kinds of books. I just did The Handmaid's Tale on audiobook, and it like I, it was still amazing and still great. Um, uh, it's And frankly, here's the last thing I'll say. I'm on, I'm on team both sides because I love reading so much. When I can actually sit down and read, if I'm reading a physical book, it's way faster and I feel like it does engross me more. But there's so many more hours of my life when I can't be doing that, but I can be listening to an audiobook. And so, of course, I actually do both. And myself as well, uh, if if I can, um, I've gotten pretty good at paying attention to audiobooks, but every once in a while, you gotta, you got to just read them. Um, I think the last thing that we'd both agree on is that if an audiobook has poor recording quality, bad reader, um, or on the other side of the spectrum is great, like cast recording, uh, something like that. Um, that really affects the experience, obviously. Um, that's a difference too. Yeah, for sure. Uh, and if they would stop printing books with those damn feathered edges where you can't find the next page, ugh, those are out. Oh. Audiobooks over those. <laughs> Audiobooks <laughs> over feathered edges. You heard it here <laughs> on a Hugo Knotts shorty. Um, we'll see you next time. Keep reading now.